in the in the economic in the economic forum in terms of what the diaspora sent um, and the numbers that expanded but yeah. from what the diaspora was sending uh -huh. was to mothers and sisters yeah so um so what the cbk did the central bank of kenya last year they did a survey on remittances that are coming into kenya right so it's good for us to note that currently the remittances so people and by remittances we mean that kenyans who work Live outside yes, the country exactly. they send in money so this is actually the the largest foreign exchange anna currently you know it passed tourism and tea and on all the other exports wow. so the survey was released in january around mid january this year and so the survey the way the cbk did it is that they asked um kenyans working abroad when you're sending money who do you send it to who do you send money to and 20 percent of those said they are sending to mothers 20 percent absolutely 15 percent said they are sending to sisters 14 percent said they are sending to brothers 11 percent said they are sending to fathers now jimmy let's put this into context of a nuclear family where we have a mom dad you have brothers and, and you have sisters, and sisters yes. in the nuclear family context fathers are the last Fathers 100%. are last to be considered. And Jimmy, this is not alien. It actually mimics the the pattern in the local in the domestic remittances, you know, when you're sending something back to Shags or something like that. You send it to Mavi. Yeah. And Jimmy, there's one thing here. Either fathers are dead or they're being neglected. And I think the latter. Or well, the assumption is now I, I tried to look at it this way because when i so so um i can tell you for a fact yeah uh, and by the way guys um it's a conversation eh? we're, we're not having a debate sure we want you to be to be involved because uh, yeah do you know here's a funny thing so these days that i'm when, when that's why i'm surprised when somebody calls me i'm baba i'm like who are you call? <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh actually i am I'm baba so here's the thing uh when when during our time yeah um it was unusual to send money to your father I, I I distinctly remember that. Uh, my sister has been abroad for years. She went abroad when I was four years old. Yeah. Uh, why Why do you think it's that way, though? Because the father was always that strong figure, as in. Uh, how can I? You know I see. What I, mean? it. Yeah. I see it, Jimmy. You see what I'm saying? So, as in, uh, uh, and and then and then things are going bad. People, you know, like Unatumia Buddha do, and and all he does is drink. But I do remember distinctly yeah. that you would be embarrassed to send money to your father because you, because it's almost like you're telling him how Jewesy. I remember, and by the way, if I'm if I'm wrong and you're my age, call me and tell me. Jimmy, I disagree with you. During our time, that was it. You would, let me tell you, you would not send money to your father. You'd be like, what? Eh, eh, eh. Really? I'm the one who got you a job. I'm the one who got you to school. Then you're sending me to you think I can't manage. Uh, 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 I disagree I'm telling with you. Jimmy. I'm telling no, you. No, I'm no, telling no, you no, no, no. My age. We never. I still. And if I am lying, please call me and tell me. Please call me and tell me whether I'm lying or not. We're not we're. Jimmy. Would never. Jimmy Anahada. And I, think, uh, 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 Kenya. and I think what has happened. Yeah. I think what has happened is what you're saying. So your generation is um, uh, many things came up. Um, uh, either uh, abusing that money. Yeah. Um, or not abusing or misusing that money. Mm -hmm. Uh around your generation is of course now the time when i, I think the, the 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 institution of fatherhood began to be disregarded our time you couldn't do that <laughs> it's fact I, I don't think it's about the institution of, of fatherhood so here's the thing jimmy yeah. in normal circumstances it's hard for a man to seek for help it's it's not the most comfortable of situations for a True. man oh, to go out oh, and, and seek for help oh. It's not the most comfortable. True. So now look at it this way. Add on top of it, seeking financial help from, from a group of people whom the whole of your life, they've been dependent on you. So now it's you asking them. From other perspectives, it might sound like, in fact, they, they deserve, they should. But no, that's just how men are. They viewed this. You know, even when you're... When go you're by, go by what you say. In, in some other areas, you, you, you imagine... You imagine that... that they will automatically yeah, give cause, because, hey... Because they feel like, you know, we supported you. But men, you can be... A man can be 70 years old. They have a kid 
who's 50 yeah. but that person is still a kid to them because for all their lives this man was providing so it looks weird for this man to to be on the other side but then Jimmy hears the catch the fact that they don't make the ask doesn't mean that they are not in need no it doesn't mean that call your big man ask him what are you currently doing how can i chime in you know how can i chip in what are you currently doing which projects are you currently doing because they won't ask but the they fact that they will. don't ask doesn't mean that they don't need it, that they don't need it. and not suffering absolutely oh and let me give you another perspective jimmy all right uh -huh. so the way african homesteads are are set up they're set up in a way that mm -hmm. the father spends really little time with the kids okay. so here's how you know uh, uh, just a picture of it mm, mm. so you'd find that a family is living in shags mm -hmm. and the pups has come to an urban area let's say nairobi to work yeah. mm. and the pups the, so the kids will see the pups let's say during the weekend or on the last weekend of the month right. when he brings in the shopping and right, everything yes. so you find that you spend a lot of time with mom and you have a stronger bond with mom than dad. Yes. But then the fact that your pups is absent, is physically absent. Yes, physically, physically. Is the subject. Yes. So the fact that your dad is physically absent doesn't necessarily mean that they're dysfunctional fathers. No, because they are paying for you school fees. The money that you guys are eating at home, it's uh -huh. coming from pups who's in Nairobi. Uh -huh. And you have to understand that since many people have a stronger bond with their moms, uh -huh. Uh -huh. even... Uh -huh. The remittances, mm -hmm. they follow the same pattern. Don't abandon dads. Uh -huh.